Masturbation. It's the act of sexually stimulating oneself, usually to the point of orgasm. Its effects can vary from person to person, but for most people, it's a normal and healthy part of sexuality. It can relieve sexual tension, promote relaxation, and help people learn about their bodies and what feels good to them. However, like anything, excessive masturbation can potentially lead to issues such as fatigue, guilt, or interfering with daily activities. It's all about finding a balance that works for you. Before we dive into today's video, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on future content. Your support means the world to me, and subscribing helps the channel grow. Now, let's get into it. In a serene monastery nestled amidst towering mountains, there lived a young monk named Koji. Koji was known for his earnest dedication to the teachings of Buddhism and Zen, yet he struggled with a persistent inner turmoil, the temptation of indulging in self-gratification. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the moon cast its gentle glow upon the monastery, Koji sat by the still pond, pondering the words of his master, the mind, like water must remain calm and undisturbed to reflect the true nature of existence, but Koji's mind was anything but calm. The turbulent waves of desire crashed against the shores of his consciousness, threatening to engulf his resolve. Feeling disheartened, Koji sought counsel from the venerable master Shunryu, a wise and revered monk known for his profound understanding of the human psyche. Master, Koji began hesitantly, I struggle with my desires. Despite my best efforts, I find myself succumbing to the temptations of the flesh, Master Shunryu regarded Koji with compassion. Desires are like ripples on the surface of the pond, he said, gesturing toward the tranquil waters before them. They arise and subside, but the essence of the pond remains unchanged, but how can I overcome these desires? Koji asked, his voice tinged with desperation, the master smiled knowingly. The path to liberation begins with discipline, he replied. You must train your mind to cultivate inner strength and resilience. With renewed determination, Koji embarked on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. Each day, he devoted himself wholeheartedly to the practice of meditation and mindfulness, striving to quiet the restless currents of his mind, yet despite his efforts, Koji found himself grappling with temptation time and again. Frustration gnawed at his spirit, threatening to erode his resolve. One moonlit night, as Koji sat in silent contemplation by the still pond, a sudden realization dawned upon him like a beacon of clarity, I have been approaching this challenge with resistance, he mused aloud. But perhaps true liberation lies not in the suppression of desires, but in the transcendence of them. With this newfound insight, Koji embraced his desires with compassion and acceptance, viewing them not as obstacles to be overcome, but as opportunities for growth and understanding. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Koji's inner turmoil gradually began to subside, like the fading ripples on the surface of the pond. In their place arose a deep sense of peace and equanimity. Like the stillness that pervaded the monastery at dawn, one crisp morning, as Koji stood gazing out at the majestic mountains that cradled the monastery, he felt a profound sense of gratitude wash over him. I am no longer bound by the chains of desire, he whispered to the gentle breeze. For in the stillness of my heart, I have found true liberation, and so, Koji continued his journey along the path of enlightenment, guided by the timeless wisdom of Buddhism and Zen, and forever grateful for the lessons learned by the still pond. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this.
Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.